peace. Let me turn up my volume so I can make sure y'all can hear me. Good morning. It's still morning. We got a few, about 19 minutes here on the East Coast anyway. Um, sitting in my room and um, just lotioned up, just got out the shower, taking care of my body. Um, not lotioned up, I use shea butter, but you know, that's what we say. But yeah, I just buttered myself and I had this deep reflective moment in the shower about self-love and you know i get up every morning and i do my yoga some days i post it some days i don't depends on how i'm feeling if i feel like sharing or not um hey tanya hey sweetie um if i feel like sharing my yoga i share it um and i i don't expect I don't care, you know what I want to say? I don't expect it to um, be uh, what people come. Uh, I'm trying to say this in a way. I don't expect it to be something that people um, look forward to. But when I get those messages that um, people are looking forward to my practice each day, I'm grateful for you sharing your ability to see yourself in me, right? Because whenever we are admiring anything, it's really um, our ability to see beyond ourself and to see deeper into ourself that we're admiring. We are, um, you know? So I was in the shower and I pray when I'm in the shower um, it's a, just a very calming thing for me to do. Also, the water um, helps me um, think and clear my mind and have very clear prayers um, for myself and my family and my friends and my loved ones for the world. And I like to pray when I'm in the shower because I take very long showers. And so then that's a very long prayer and I get everything in. And during my prayer, I heard... Um, I was like, you know, thinking about self-love and praying about being a loving human, um, being more um, expansive in my love towards my children, towards my partner, towards my mother, towards my family. And I, this thought I heard, you know, it said, um, the fact that you exist means you love yourself. The fact that you exist means you love yourself. I'm going to say that one more time. The fact that you exist, that you are here right now, means you love yourself. You had to love yourself so much that you wanted to exist. You wanted a body, you wanted a heart, you wanted, if you have children, you wanted a family, you wanted a mother, you wanted a father. It is not the circumstances that we come from that uh, provide, you know, the space that, that means we were loved, that we were made from love. It is our own desire, our own desire to be here that means we love ourselves. And when I started meditating on that thought, oh my God, my heart, I started crying, you know, and it's, it was a really huge thought for me because I don't know my dad. And that was a very big point of contention for me for a long time um, growing up um, because my brothers and sisters, dads would come and get them and um, you know, I'd be sitting there looking dumb, like, where's my, you know, who gonna come get me? And that wouldn't happen. And so it left a very bitter stain in my mouth um, about uh, fatherhood and being loved in a certain kind of a way for a long time until I was able to dig into my self-love journey for myself and realize that my dad, you know, this is the, this is the story that I have now. 
I, my dad created me and that was the love he had to give, which was enough because I exist. But then I, you know, that thought this morning in the shower was even more expansive because it was like, yeah, your dad, your mom, that's cool. They love you. That's awesome. But the way you love you, the fact that you called yourself into beingness is the greatest love. It's not the doing this. It's not anything you're doing. It doesn't matter. You can do all the things that are self-love. You can make all the baths. You can light all the candles. You can say all the prayers. You can write, do all the ritualistic stuff. I'm not saying that it's not great. But the idea is that you have to understand before you are doing all those things or get to the point when you are doing all those things that your existence is an act of self-love. Your existence, your the fact that you are here, that you called yourself to be, you no, called yourself here. You came here. You decided to incarnate in this life at this time. And that is the most loving thing that you could do for yourself. All the rituals and stuff, they're just seasoning. They extra. It's like reminders, like, okay, I do love myself. This is another way I can love myself. This is more love. You know, it's a replenishment. But if once I tuned into that thought, it just shattered everything that I thought previously. And I started saying, I give my body permission. I always prayed that I healed, that I love myself, that I continue to grow in a beautiful and magnificent way, that my heart expands. But I never thought that I had to give my body permission. I give my body permission. And I started saying that over and over and over again. I give my body permission to heal. I give my body permission to love itself. I give my body permission to show up for myself. I give my body permission to release trauma. I give my body permission to um, release any sexual uh, abuse that happened to me. I give my body permission, like in really naming those things. I give my heart permission to love. I give my heart permission to embrace joy. I give my heart permission to have a loving partner and to accept my partner. These are prayers that I said, but I never gave myself permission. And it just, those two things shifted I, I feel renewed. I always feel great, but I had not, you know how people say they go to like some ocean, you know, go to the ocean and the water's on them. I, that's the feeling that I feel like I went somewhere and someone gave me some good cleaning and like I'm sparkly and shiny and that was just from being open, being receptive. And that was after my yoga practice. And that's why I practice yoga f first thing in the morning. Because I know that that practice opens me up for the day. It allows me to um, tap into things that I would not be able to tap into. So when I don't practice yoga first thing in the morning, when I have a hard time getting to my mat in the morning, I know that my day, I accept, I don't know. I accept that my day may not be as smooth and I might not transition through the day as easily um, as when I do when I meet my mat in the morning. So I just want to just leave that out there for you. Those of you who are just joining, I was just talking about... Um, giving, um, understanding how, uh, your exact, your existence that you called yourself to be is the biggest act of self-love that you could ever create for yourself. That everything that we do here, the baths and the, everything that we do ritualistic is extra. And then the other thing is during, um, your healing, 
you know, a lot of times we pray for a healing. We pray to be healed in a certain type of way. And what came to me today was actually giving my body, my heart, my mind permission to accept these healings. Like, right? Because we are asking for something. We're asking for something. And a lot of times we don't realize that we are resistant. There's resistance in our body to what our mouth is saying. There's resistance in our heart to what our mouth is saying. There's resistance in our mind to what our mouth is saying. So if you are, if you don't know there's resistance, you're not getting that healing that you're asking for. So you have to clear that resistance first by giving your body, your heart, your mind, your spirit permission to show up for you in that way. And it's a huge shift from just saying something and hoping or, you know, just having blind faith because you're actively participating with your mind, your body and your spirit in a new way. Like really asking yourself to show up, really asking your trauma, like I need you to leave. I want you out of my body. You no longer get to be here. There is no reason for us to be together anymore. I am not in those circumstances. I am not an abused kid. I'm not an abandoned kid. You know, whatever those things are, name them, release them, release them from your heart, release them from your mind, release them from your body. They no longer deserve to be with you. You are grander than those things. You are here now. You are here now. I hope this was useful. I hope it was helpful. I'll save it and put it up for anyone who missed it. Um, but I, when I had that experience, I knew that it was different than anything I'd ever done before. And I do a lot of trauma and healing work. I do a lot of it. And, um, that, that I think was a key link that was missing to some of my work was like really allowing, making space for myself to have permission to have the healings that I was asking for, you know, like, and maybe it was my time, just my time to realize that all the work that I was doing was for me to get to this point. So thank you guys. Ashe, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I pray y'all have a wonderful weekend. Um, and that you are able to move in a way that you didn't think was possible before because, that's what we're here for. We're here to do new things. We're here to experience life and not be stagnant. And I wish that for you. I wish more abundance, more joy, and more possibilities. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.